welcome back to Mystical Mermaid. I wanted to do a quick reading to kind of, you know, get an idea of what blessings are coming our way in October. I wanted something positive, you know, something fun. I pulled out some Halloween cards and I just, I want it to be very peaceful, very positive. That's why I rung that bell in the beginning because I just want to shake away any negative energy, any energy that may have been lingering from September. We want to know what blessings are coming our way in October, all right? So we have PAL 1. Okay, with this green card, we have PAL 2 with this purple card, we have PAL 3 with this black card, and we have PAL 4 with this blue card, all right? So feel free to choose a PAL, but I'm going to jump right into it. And like usual, if you like this reading, please feel free to comment, share, subscribe, retweet, however you feel, you know, you want to share it, please share it. I would greatly appreciate that, and thank you. I am also available for readings. If you want a reading, please feel free to send me a message via Twitter, Instagram, okay? Hit me up and we can, you know, talk about it. We can see what's popping, all right? So let's start. Let's jump right into POW 1. I'm going to try to move these cards quickly to the side. It's kind of hard because I have so many under here. And I have to remember the order. Okay, all right, pal one with the green card. You have coriander, immortality. Okay, you have affirmation for growth. You have universe, we're all just stardust. And that's a 31 on the card as well. You have, I think this is Athami. I can't pronounce this name. Boundaries, okay. You have Prosperity, three. As this tree grows, so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine, okay? So that would be a great card for you to screenshot and keep. We have support, all right? It says, ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself. We have winter, the sacredness of pausing. I already see where this is going. We have the witch, okay? The earthly weaver of the worlds. The earthly weaver of the worlds, okay. So those are your oracle cards. Let's get your tea, your tea leaf cards and then we're going to get into your tarot. We have nest egg. An emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. Okay. We have mountain, major challenges to overcome. We have hills, obstacles to overcome. Okay. That kind of matches with that. And we have quill, get back to the basics. All right, your tarot cards are the Two of Pentacles. I love this deck. Ah! You have, let's see, the Hangman. You have the Six of Pentacles. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so let's figure out what's going on here. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting that you guys are juggling a lot, or maybe you were juggling a lot in the past. Now you're feeling kind of stuck. We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Hangman. So the Two of Pentacles is having two different options or balancing out two different things or multitasking. The Hangman is actually feeling stuck. But look at this person. Their feet are actually chained to this broom. They're chained. And their, aren't, their hands are chained too. So it's almost like... I'm getting like this person's, I don't know why I'm getting an overwhelmed feeling. So some of you guys may have felt overwhelmed with things. Maybe you had two options to decide from and you guys felt stuck because we do have the six of pentacles where this is someone equally giving and um, receiving, right? This is an equal give and take, giving equally to two different people. So you guys may have two options. There's even two cats in this picture. So there might be two options here. And then the queen of pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And look, she has four cats. Wow, she has four cats, four black cats. So it's like giving and receiving equally. I'm hearing saving and spending, you know, making sure that you're investing into, ah, tongue-tied already, making sure that you're investing into yourself. Um, 
for some reason, I feel like you guys are supposed to be kind of stuck right now. And it's, and it's not in an energy of, okay, I'm feeling like consistent. I'm not consistent, complacent. Wow. Consistent. Wow. I'm feeling complacent. I'm not feeling like I can move forward. It's not really that energy, although that's what the hangman is for. I feel like you're stuck for a reason. Like the universe is saying, Hey, no, we have this pause happening in your life for a reason. You're here for a reason. It's something that they're trying to either show you or teach you with your finances. Okay, you guys? Um, you guys have a, some major blessings coming in because you go from the Two of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. And as I said that, you can hear the helicopter flying in the background. Sorry, you guys. I live by an airport. Um, so it's like fast movement coming in. I feel like your, your finances are going to be growing very soon and it has to do with you guys saving your money i do feel like that maybe you guys are investing or learning about investments um the queen of pentacles she's she, look she's she has a lot of money right she's for me she's fertile she's very grounded earthy energy so if you guys don't have earth in your chart i'm kind of shocked you guys just could just be in this like very earth like um you know paying attention to the home you know paying attention to your finances like energy but i feel like something's going to be growing within your finances point blank period fruitfulness abundance look at that you see that chest in the background with that cat and the coins i feel like you guys are going to be having a lot of money coming in maybe someone might be giving you something but i feel like there's going to be some type of um abundance coming in okay you guys so i'm going to set these cards to the side over here all right so let's get into your oracle you have immortality coriander you have affirmation for growth. And what's interesting is that this affirmation for growth card gives me the vibe of all these pentacle cards. Look at this. You see that? Look at her. She has like a some type of button or coin here. Look at that. That's like that same energy. It's interesting because I feel like maybe you guys could be this, this energy of giving something to someone. So be careful, like save your money. But I, I am hearing that maybe some of you guys will be giving money like to a charity or some type of cause and you're going to be blessed for it in return. Like you guys could be blessed for doing something for others, um, like helping out in your community of some sort will help. Um, not saying that you're doing it just to receive blessings, but I feel like there's something that you're going to give or plant. Like there's some type of seed that you're going to plant and you're going to slowly watch it bloom. And right now you might feel like you're stuck. You might feel like, okay, I'm juggling a lot. I feel stuck in a certain situation, but your angels are saying, no, 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 it's for your highest good right now. Everything is happening for your highest good. I feel like whatever situation you guys are in right now is supposed to be that way for right now. Um, cause you guys are going to end up in this energy. Okay. And they're saying that whatever it is you're working on or whatever you have worked on, it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. There's a lot of, like, I don't know if some of you guys literally work in a garden and grow things. Some of you guys could be manifesting money and it's coming. Um, I really do feel like it's coming. Queen of Pentacles is very financially stable and secure. She's sitting there all confidently. This is old money. I'm hearing old money. Some of you guys could be like receiving an inheritance or maybe not even that, but just gaining money that could be long lasting. Okay, um, that's just the energy that I'm getting here. Now, what's interesting is you have boundaries here, right? And this actually has a pentacle on it, like the, the, the symbol of the pentagram. I mean, not a pentacle, but it kind of does look like the pentacle symbol. Look at that, right? What I'm getting here is that it's time for you guys to cut yourself free. So although you were supposed to be in this Heyman energy, there's like, hmm, there's interesting. And as I said that, my table squeaked. It's kind of strange. I feel like something's needing fixing. Like, hmm. This is weird. I feel like there's something that needs to be fixed or let go of. Maybe you're trying to work on something, trying to build something. For some of you guys, you could be into construction or building something. Or I'm hearing pottery. Um, something might need fixing. And it's going to bring you some type of prosperity. So it could be your mindset, the way you see things, the way you see money. Um, I'm hearing what you bring to the table, what you bring to the table. I'm actually doing this reading on my dining room table and I'm looking at the table in this kitchen. It's weird. It's like, what do you bring to the table? So this could be you in this like energy of, okay, hold on. You're telling me something here. With the Six of Pentacles here, they're letting me know that you could be dealing with people, right? Whether this is like a business, a partnership, a romantic partnership, you could be really saying like, you know, what are you guys bringing to the table? Or what are you bringing to the table that I can't offer myself? 
So you guys are kind of getting in this boss energy, this queen of pentacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, oh, I was going to say Libra. So maybe you guys are Libras, but that's not an earth sign. It's an air sign. So this has to do with fairness and balance and justice. So this has to you guys. Really, ah. Okay. So they're saying this has to do with you guys balancing out. I don't know why I'm hearing balancing out the karmic scales, but bringing balance and justice to your life, making sure that you're not giving, giving, giving and, and not receiving because some people will take. So I'm hearing be careful with it's wild because I'm getting that they want you to help, like they want you to help the community, they want you to invest um, in, in different businesses, they want you to help um, the, you know, those who aren't as, as fortunate as you. But in the same token, I'm getting that you might have some people that might come in and try to use you in October, might ask you for handouts, and they may never pay you back. So you want to be careful there. I am hearing if you've already been through that, it's time for you to set healthy boundaries with people. Okay, let them know, you know what, I, I don't have that. Like, you don't have to tell people that you're the queen of pentacles. You don't have to tell people that you came into money or anything like that. Just let them wonder, let them guess. They don't have to know everything. Because I'm getting that you might have some people try to, you know, hey, can I have something? And what's wild is they probably never helped you before. And they may never pay you back. So that's just like a little side note. I know we're trying to get into what are the blessings, but I feel that it's, you know, when you receive some type of gain financially, sometimes it is a blessing and a curse because you have finances, you know, that you could save, give, share. And some people take for, you know, take that, you know, for granted. Sometimes people take advantage of that. So I feel like you guys are going to be cutting yourself down from this energy of feeling stuck. Although I do feel that you're supposed to be there for a certain for a certain amount of time to learn something. I feel like the vine had you there for a reason. Maybe it is for you to cut yourself down. You know, like, okay, let's see if they're strong enough to get over this hurdle. And I feel like you guys are going to be overcoming something. Um, now, you guys could be giving support to some someone else or someone could be coming through and giving you financial support. If this isn't you, as if you're not the queen of um, pentacles, this could be another energy coming in who's noticed your growth, who's noticed you working hard on something, and they're saying, you know what, I'm going to help this person. I see that they're, I see that they're multitasking. I see that they're juggling. I see that they're kind of in a bind or some, you know, for some of you guys, you could be in a financial bind or something like that, and someone could be coming through and, and giving you some type of help, but your angels are asking you to ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself. So this has to do with you spending time. I'm hearing spend time at home. A lot of you guys need to spend more time at home. I'm hearing watering your own garden. There's a Janet Jackson song where she says, you must water or tend to your spiritual garden. Um, then I'm hearing FKA twigs water me. So there's an energy of you taking care of your 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 own like health, your self-love, self-care, but also taking care of your home. She's by her home. We have the kitchen card here. Um, the queen of pentacles represents the home life. We have all pentacles here, basically. So I feel like this is definitely has to do with your foundation, your stability, and your security. I feel like this is a time to nurture yourself, to set healthy boundaries with others. I feel like your finances are growing. Your home life is becoming more stable and secure in October. Those are some of the blessings that are coming to you. You do have prosperity here. So I definitely feel like there's some type of prosperity coming your way, you guys, big time. So three, we have three, 31, four. So three, four. I feel like there's definitely going to be some type of progress happening with your, um, your money. Like I'm telling you guys, this is money coming in very soon. Um, it's wild because we have like, well, I did use, you know, the witch decks, but this is a witch card, right? And it says the earthy, the earth. The earthly weaver of the worlds. I thought I said earthy. The earthly weaver of the worlds. So it's almost like you're manifesting. You could also be balancing, you know, your 3D and 5D self, you know, alch um, alchemy and actually doing the work. So like manifesting me also doing the work. You're growing somehow spiritually. I feel like maybe some of your powers are growing spiritually if you would if you do consider yourself, you know, an alchemist or a witch or a manifester or someone who practices metaphysical, you know, um, practices or law of affirmation practices. Um, I just feel like there's something that's going to be coming your way. Something that you've worked hard for in the past or something that you've been manifesting is going to be coming your way. You may receive some type of divine um, help or support from someone else. Or you could just be in that power, in that position where you can help others. Either way, you will have prosperity coming. A lot of money coming your way, you guys. And it's very important that you save it. Okay, invest it well. Don't tell anybody. I feel like this is long lasting. You have immortality, immortality. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This feels... This feels like prosperity that could last a very, very long time. A nest egg. This is money that you guys can put aside 
with a nest egg. This is money that you guys can put aside for your family, for yourself and for your family in the future. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Yes, yeah, so nurturing that home life. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, very loving, very motherly in my opinion. So that's the same energy, you know, really taking care of your home. Some of you guys could be nesting and actually cleaning and um, working with your home, cooking. Um, I'm just hearing like a very homey vibe, growing something, planting something, harvest. I'm hearing harvest. You reap what you sow, you reap what you sow, and she has her grapes here. So I'm hearing you reap what you sow, you reap what you sow. So there's definitely something that you guys are going to be benefiting, benefiting from, I'm sorry. Something that has bloomed, something that has grown, something that is growing still. So there's money coming your way, okay? And now you have water, okay? So it says the sacredness of pausing. That's the same energy of the hangman. So, you know, when autumn and fall comes, you know, most people slow down a bit. So I'm hearing that we can't always be growing, 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 growing. Sometimes we need a break. So they're saying that take time with yourself. You know, a plant doesn't grow overnight. It takes time, you know. It takes time for something to bloom and blossom. And they're wanting you to know that, hey, you're an infinite being. You have the infinity symbol here. Things take time, okay. You're Infinite being, we have the infinity here, we have universe, we're all just stardust, right? And we have immortality. So it's almost like they're talking about your soul. Your soul, your soul is immortal, and then we have the earthly weaver of the world. So they're talking about you. You guys could possibly um, astral projecting or getting more in touch with your soul, okay? I just feel like there's an the energy of getting more in touch with your soul. What's wild is I don't know why my dog is digging into the carpet. One of my dogs is um, in, in here, and she's digging in the carpet. She doesn't do that all the time. But what's wild is there's this cat here in this cart that's digging. I want to tell her something. Lucy, stop, please. Sorry, you guys. So we have this cat here who's digging as well. It's like, ugh. She, it looks like she's just planted something and she just took something out and this cat is like digging. So I don't know what that's about, digging, digging, and the fact that my dog is digging and then you have this cat sitting here. So maybe there's something that you haven't seen, like there's something hidden. Like there could be some, some type of prosperity coming your way that you don't even know about. So something you've been manifesting, but it might show up in a way that you weren't expecting, okay? And that's the divine's help. You have the universe. We're all just stardust. So there's some type of energy of having help from the higher realms. We have two pinnacles here, the infinity symbol. Having help, there's a balance. If you lift this to the side, that's an eight, which represents prosperity. You have an eight here, prosperity. You're receiving help from the divine. They're supporting you. They're saying right now in the fall and the autumn, take some time for yourself to nurture yourself. Take some time to rest to just sit on your throne, okay? Um, you're overcoming a lot of obstacles. If you guys were worried about finances, feeling stuck with the hangman energy, if you were worried about different outcomes, they're saying, hey, it's going to turn out positive. Just focus on self-care and self-love. Focus on manifesting what you want, investing your money, saving your money. Okay, you guys? Um... I just feel like a lot of home vibes. If there's something around the house that needs to be fixed, I feel like it's going to be fixed. I don't know why I need to say that for you guys. So there's something with growing, growing. Something's growing. Something's blooming. And yes, it takes time. So it's like phases, going with the ebb, the ebb and flow of life. But you will um, reap what you sow. That harvest will be abundant and very fruitful. I feel like you guys are going to be growing. Like literally, there's grapes in this picture too. You guys want to look up what grapes mean spiritually grapes she has apples and grapes and she has apples and grapes this is fruitfulness this is abundance prosperity so it might not even just be in finances it could be in multiple areas it could be in um resources I, but i am heavily getting money finances prosperity but resources so this could also be some type of spiritual growth some type of spiritual wealth coming in where you guys might um remember or see some things from higher realms all right but there's a need for you to set healthy boundaries with others all right ask for support but be willing to be willing to draw the line where you support others i know that sounds bad but sometimes we overdo it with helping others and we don't always help ourselves and I'm getting that you guys may need rest. So spend some time at home. Home life is going to be very important for you guys in October. Home life will be very, family life, home life, okay? Will be very important for you guys in October, balancing out rest, play, and work, okay? But there's a lot of manifesting. I feel like your angels are saying, hey, you have infinite, you know, infinite possibilities. You know, you're an infinite being. We're all just stardust. You are immortal. Your soul is immortal. So I feel there's a need for you guys to work on manifesting as well and resting and just growing. I, there's an energy of growing, growth, growth, and overcoming obstacles. Get back to the basics. That lets me know that they're wanting you to take it easy. Get more rest. Nurture yourself, all right? If you can use coriander in anything that you cook um, for October, do that. I don't know why, but, you know, I the card is here. Let's just 
incorporate it. There might be something there with coriander, okay? Um, but there's a lot of prosperity. Pay attention to apples and grapes, apples and grapes. I don't know if that has a spiritual meaning to it, but it's showing up in like two of your cards. This reddish orange energy, that could be like your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is very um, important. Your solar plexus and sacral chakra, but I'm getting more sacral chakra. So you guys might be feeling um, very passionate during this time, wanting to create. Um, I'm getting solar and sacral. So it's like you guys are finding the power to create for yourselves, grow more. So you guys are manifesting. You guys are creating something very powerful for yourself. So if you guys have any worries, I'm, I'm hearing putting, put it to the side. Put it to the side and just have faith because I feel like things are really going to be working out very positively for you guys, okay? You guys are going to be soaring. I'm hearing soar, soar. So, um... This is interesting. This is really interesting. I think the blessings, not think, I know the blessings that are coming your way are, it's prosperity, you know, money, abundance, fruitfulness, okay? You guys are going to have a lot of resources. Um, just be wise with how much you share um, with others and make sure that you're, you know, being, you know, helped in the same way, you know? Don't always be the giver, okay? But you guys are growing spiritually. You guys are growing financially. You guys are overcoming obstacles, mountains, hills. And you guys are making sure that you have a nest egg. You're saving and securing your foundation. You're spending more time at home, getting to the basics, um, nurturing yourself, okay? I'm hearing that some of you guys will be redecorating your home as well, fixing, like, things, redecorating your home, bringing, like, um, like, what am I hearing? Uh, what is it called? Seasonal things into your home to make it comfortable, this is going to help beat out seasonal depression. I don't know why I'm hearing that for some of you guys. Um, going with the elements, like changing with the seasons, bringing fun things into your home might help you with um, seasonal depression. For some of you guys, some of you guys could be feeling that way a little bit, feeling a little stuck because of the seasonal change. But they're saying, hey, don't feel that way. Just change course. Go with the ebb and flow of life, all right? You are divinely supported. Ask for help if you need help, okay? Reach out to someone that is trustworthy, your angels, you know, the divine, a, a, a trustworthy elder or friend, okay? And if this isn't, if you aren't the queen of pentacles, which I, I highly feel that whomever chose this path, you are the queen of pentacles. But if you aren't, I feel like there's someone who's coming your way that will help you very soon, okay? In some type of way, they're going to support you. They might help you, give you information about um, something that you're wanting to build or grow on or even finance or even family life. There's something that is going to be helpful for you. This has to do with your foundation, stability and security. And I feel like it's going to be beautiful. You just have to have faith. You have to take care of yourself. You can't take care of others, and, you know, unless you take care of yourself, point blank, period. All right. You can't pour from an empty vessel. And that's just what I'm hearing for you guys. OK, you might want to work with the colors green, orange, red, green, orange, red. That's the, those are the colors that are here. This is really earthy. Spend more time in nature, you guys. Like even though the, the, the season is changing, spend time in nature. OK, get fresh air. Spend time in your backyard if you have one. Spend time in grass. Spend time, you know, eat more um, from the earth, you know, um, here are rooted vegetables, fruits. We do have grapes and apples here um, a lot. There's just the energy of really paying attention to the seasonal change and how it affects you. But you're overcoming a lot of obstacles. Remember that. This is a very abundant, prosperous time for you guys. You have three eggs here. Yeah, so it's like reaping harvest. I don't know. I just get that energy. I'm like seeing someone at a farm um, going in like the chickens coop and getting eggs and bringing them in. So this is very prosperous. This is a very abundant time for you guys. So make sure you set those healthy boundaries with others. You don't have to let everyone know everything. Take care of yourself. Take care of your home life. Spend time with your fur babies. Um, if they're, They might be trying to get your attention since my dog was doing that. <laughs> and then you have this cat here and all these cats. So cats also represent protection, especially black cats. Um, but there might be a need for you guys to be kind of, you know, Playful, spend time at home, nurture, you know, like homebody. Oh, there's a here's a song for you, Home Life, John Mayer, Home Life. He says something, I want to be a house cat. He says something about a cat. I want to be a home a house cat, but we're talking about the home life. And I feel like the home life is going to be very prosperous for you guys. So remember the three and four progress, right? Slowly but surely. Um, yeah, you guys have the power to really, I mean, some of you guys have the power to connect with, you know, higher realms, okay? So that might be something else you guys might be tapping more into in October as well. But remember, you know, um, Halloween, you know, that's a portal. And then after Halloween is the Day of the Dead. So there is a portal where you're going to be able to connect with the two rooms, okay? So you guys want to take note of that. You guys could be connecting. For some of you, I'm here connecting with a grandmother figure um, will be heavy for some of you guys, okay? I'm hearing especially if you guys could be connecting with ancestors who like to cook. 
specifically um, ancestors who like to take care of the home. Okay, so take care of your home. Create an altar for your ancestors, you know, for your highest good only. Um, yeah, it's like building something, allowing your ancestors. I, I actually said this on my Twitter page, like, you know, kind of making your, ho your home warm because it's like you're going to be receiving messages and, um, and just, you know, like I'm just getting like receiving some type of visitation from ancestors. Okay, so there's a need that you take care of yourself, you nurture, nurture yourself, you nurture your home and your, your fur babies and your family, okay? And everything's going to be all right, but they're saying get back to the basics. So just focus on the basic things right now, pal one. The basic things, prosperity is coming. Keep, you know, affirming that it's that it's here. Um, but you guys are immortal beings. Like, you, your soul is very powerful. And there's something there with you realizing that you're an infinite being with infinite potential. Okay? So know that nothing lasts forever hard times don't last forever you will see the light okay things will get better so support yourself set healthy boundaries you know go with the ebb and flow take time to rest okay know that prosperity and abundance is coming your way and growing you are growing and growth takes time all right so remember that money 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 is coming your way okay so listen to home life by john mayer that's just the energy i'm getting home life from john mayer hmm Tell me what you guys thought about that one. Use coriander in some type of way. Look coriander up. I don't know what you can use that in. I know it's used a lot in Eastern Indian foods. Um, I don't know what else is used in, but that's a that's a good spice. I like it, okay? So, pal two, all right? You chose that purple deck. What else do you have? What else do you have? So, you have pentacle, respect, Okay. You have knowledge. Let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. 28. Okay, so auto automatically, you guys might have a connection with Pal 1. Sometimes these readings kind of blend with each other, but we'll see. You have growth. It says, seek out a mentor or guide. Take ba baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from, an from others. Okay, I was going to say from another. Hmm. Be willing to learn from others. We have forgiveness. Releasing burdens, okay? I'm seeing white, like you have the white um, unicorns here, you have the white flowers, so that's like purity. You have skull of light, illumination, oh, white. Okay, so there's like a white light. So white light is like above the crown chart, so there's a higher, um, I feel like you guys are connecting with higher realms. I don't know why specifically I'm hearing Christ consciousness for you guys. Hmm. We have Lioness, 13, breaking down to a 4. Yeah, you guys might have a connection with Pal 1, just in case. So if you felt called to pick, a, a, you know, several Pals, do so, okay? Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. We have Mandrake, impassive. Hmm. We have Meditation for Peace and Serenity. That's a pretty cool card. Okay. So meditation for peace and serenity. All right. So I feel like there's some forgiving. You know what? It's wild because the pal one had boundaries. And I feel like you guys are stepping more into an energy of where it's strange. It's almost like you guys are becoming more confident and more bold with the things that you want in life. Okay. Um, I'm getting that for you guys. It's, it's an energy of I've been through a lot. I've, I've grown. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pal one had growth. So I've been through a lot. I'm, I've grown, okay? I'm still healing. I feel like a lot of you guys are healing from something, whether this is something that someone did to you or um, I don't know why I'm hearing that for some of you guys. Maybe you guys lost a job or you guys were treated unfairly at a job situation or with school. Something happened. And you feel like, you know what? I could have stood up more for myself. I could have said more. So there's a need for you guys to work on specifically, I'm hearing your solar plexus chakra and your throat chakra. Like speaking up for yourself and standing more in your power. Like, you know what? Next time I'm going to speak up for myself. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like I'm speaking up for myself. Um, you know, there's an the energy of like, you know, we do have lioness, like being that lioness, you've earned all your stripes, but this is like you going through all these battles and say, you know what? I earned all these damn stripes. You know, I've been through a lot. I've earned all of this, you know, like I've grown a lot. Seek out a mentor, a guide, take a baby steps as you grow, be willing to learn from others. Yeah. It's like, I'm learning. We have growth knowledge. So you guys could be learning new things in October. Like some of you guys could be going to school. Some of you guys could just be deciding to learn about something new. 
Um, I don't know why I'm hearing some of you guys are deciding to go into a master's program soon, whether that's this year um, or next, I mean, this semester, next semester. Some of you guys are going within for more knowledge, spiritually speaking. We have meditation for, for peace and serenity. Illumination, this is knowledge. Illumination, knowledge, growth. Yeah, there's a lot of learning here. Like you guys could be learning spiritually speaking as well with your crown chakra connecting to higher realms. But I keep getting that white. There's a white light. There's another chakra that's above the crown chakra. And I'm getting that. So you guys might want to learn about that. There's an illumination. So this is things being illuminated. This is light. This is knowledge. This is wisdom. Okay, clarity. So I definitely feel like you guys are going to be learning about something. This, this, this card, she's reading a book, right? And then we have knowledge here with the book. Let me connect above and below. So this is um, as above, so below. So let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. Yeah, you guys are meditation, med ooh, meditation, wow. Meditation for peace and serenity. So you guys are meditating and you guys are connecting with your ancestors in that way. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be um, connecting with ascendant masters. Some people have visions of Buddha, no lie, okay? Um, I'm getting that a lot of you guys are going to be reading up spiritually on different things, okay? Doing a lot of more, a lot more insight spiritually. Um, you guys are going to be standing in your power. Like, so for example, if you guys were feeling a little insecure about your spirituality and what you believed in, I feel like you're going to be standing up for yourself and speaking up about, you know, what you feel, what you believe in. I feel like you guys' gift, your blessing is in October, is more of a soul growth. Like, I'm growing spiritually. I'm growing with my, growing within my confidence. It's like, I'm, I'm actually seeing a lion, you know, with its mane, like, you know, just very regal and powerful. Like I'm standing strong in, in my power. I'm setting healthy boundaries. I'm growing, you know, I'm learning an, a lot of knowledge, spiritually speaking, you know, I'm releasing any burdens that I have. I'm forgiving others and I'm moving forward. Just because you forgive doesn't mean that person has to come with you, right? When you forgive, you forgive for yourself. So you're not holding on to burden so that you can grow. Because when you hold on to dead weight, you can't grow. You can't move. You can't, you know, move freely. You feel, you know, burdened. You feel heavy. And you don't want that energy. So I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to be lightweight, free. So there's a need for you to really release any burdens. Ask yourself, you know, am I holding any grudges? Am I feeling a certain type of way? Some of you guys, you, some of you guys are healing from, you know, like the way you see your body. Um, so healing the way you see yourself as a whole, okay, um, respecting your body, respecting yourself or self-respect, okay? Um, but there's a lot of knowledge coming through. I feel like you guys could be receiving downloads of information while in meditation from higher realms. So I get that you guys are going to be leveling up spiritually. This is spiritual for you guys. And it's going to create more confidence within you. You're coming into like some type of completion of a cycle, okay? It's like a completion of a cycle and you're moving forward into a new, like a new beginning, like a new journey, there's some type of awareness, okay, that's coming coming in here, okay? So that's what I'm getting for you guys. Let's get into your, um, that's, well, that's what I have for you for your oracle cards. But let's get into your little tea cup cards. What do you have here? So you have tree, affairs with family, okay, affairs with family. We have desk, pay attention to your work. Okay, well, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Doesn't that book look like it's on a desk? That looks like it's on a desk. I don't know if you guys can see that from here. If you guys, oh, sorry. Look at this. Doesn't that look like a desk? And it says desk. Pay attention to your work. So knowledge, let me connect above and, and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So you guys could be receiving some help from your ancestors within your career or um, schoolwork. Um, some type of help, divine guidance. Like say if you've been wanting a scholarship, if you've been trying to get into a certain um, class and it's been booked, like not booked, but you know, kind of like, um, yeah, let's just go with booked. <laughs> I don't know what they were trying to get me to say, but it's like, say you couldn't get into a certain class that you needed, right? And there's, I'm hearing you work with your ancestors, somehow they're going to make something happen in your benefit. That's for somebody specifically. But I feel like in, with your job, with your career, if there's a certain career that you've been wanting to go into, I feel like your angels are trying to help you with that, but they're saying there's more information, more knowledge for you to learn. And um, there's some type of growth. So you guys could be learning about your ancestors. In general, we have affairs with your family and desk. So some of you guys could be working on a family business, or you guys could be creating a family business that'll be long lasting. Okay, there might be some type of respect coming from your family. We have vines, seek out information that will help you. Seek out information that will help you. That goes right along with knowledge. 
Yeah, so there's some type of information, and then that also goes with illumination. So there's some type of information that you guys could be getting from a family member or um, in regards to family, whether this is like past ancestors. But there could also be information coming through when it comes to some, something within you, what you want to do with, with your profession, okay? Um, some of you guys are going to be receiving some type of respect, um, some type of, like, acknowledgement for your growth, whether it's at school or at work, okay? And it's going to bring some type of feeling of, like, yeah, like, I worked my ass off for that about time. And we have happiness, okay? Flowers, flowers, right, okay. So I definitely feel like you guys are going to be happy in October. You guys are going to be maybe connecting with family, learning something about ancestors. Um, there is a need to pay attention to your work. I feel like something positive is going to be occurring within your work life. Whether Even if you don't have a job, I feel like there's something you might receive an epiphany in meditation. Um, something about knowledge, wisdom, growing, okay, illumination. Seek out information. So some type of information is going to be coming to you guys very soon. All right. I'm hearing that some of you guys could be working to teach others. Like some of you guys could be teachers in some type of way. OK. And um, you guys might be receiving some type of like joy out of helping others learn. OK. You have the king of wands. Wow. OK. So Leo Sagittarius Aries, but doesn't have to be. And look how this cat is like looking on. Look, he has a feather here. So you have a lot of feathers writing in books. So some of you guys could be bookworms, you know, spending time reading, maybe picking up a good book. Some of you guys could be writers. Um, yeah, some of you guys could be writers because even on the desk card, we have a feather there. But um, if you go back, like, go back in this reading and look over everything. I don't know why I'm feeling called to tell you guys this. But look, we have a feather here. We have a feather here on the side. Writing, right? So writing, you guys could be, I don't know why I'm hearing that some of you guys could be receiving a letter soon. That's important. Um, some of you guys could be getting into a certain college that you wanted to go to as well is what I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, for some of you guys, you guys are writers, creators. Um, the King of Wands is very passionate, very creative in my opinion. Okay. For some reason, I don't know why, but he looks like he's like trying to figure out where to travel next. He's looking at this, you know, map of some sort and he's pointing to it and he looks like he's asking his cat, you know, like, okay, where should I go next? Um, which could be a familiar. So this could be like a guide of some sort trying to help this person. So I feel like this, there's something that, ha that has to do with writing. Some of you guys could be traveling for school, traveling for work, deciding to move um, away to something better. That's a side note. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, financially stable, financially secure, home life, family life. Okay, children, you know, the dog, everything, the cat. Okay, so this is wow. So now you have Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Wow. Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the Ace. Wow. Okay, but what's interesting is in this Ace of Pentacles as a child, which reminds me of the Page of Pentacles, but this is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's going to be some type of offer, you guys. Like some of you guys could be receiving a scholarship or a raise. Um, so it's like someone at your in your career, right? Or, you know, at school or some area, even li family life. Someone has acknowledged your growth and your hard work, you know? Um, I also feel like the divine has acknowledged that you've been working on forgiveness and healing um, and peace. I feel like when you stay in a peaceful place, more positive things are going to come your way. But I feel like you do have affairs with your family with this tree life. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So something positive could be coming to your family overall in general. Um, but I definitely feel like, oh, some of you guys could be spending more time with your family during October. Okay. Maybe um, maybe there's a birthday or some type of celebration. But we Okay. So although we're asking about October, they're telling me November. Some of you guys may need to spend more time with your family. That might bring you some type of happiness. But I'm also getting being able to give something to a family member. Something, something as simple as that. I'm getting that some of you guys are just happy to be able to give to your family. Being, being able to give to yourself and to your family. Um, for some of you guys, you, you could be settling down with someone and starting a family with someone. Okay? Um, I feel like this King of Wands is very passionate. This is someone who's very creative, on the move, traveling, moving, moving around. Maybe someone is traveling to see their family in October, okay? Um, someone could be gifting you with plane tickets to go somewhere. I'm hearing that for some of you guys. Um, wow, we have this black cat in the background in this, this car. I never paid attention to that, but I feel like some of you guys are being watched. I don't know if you see that. Some of you guys are being watched over 
um, by a passed on ancestor. I got that in PAL 1 too. But I feel like there's an, uh, there's an ancestor that's like a, fami a familiar, some, like some type of energy, like an animal guide that's trying to help you, trying to guide you in the right direction. Um, it's going to bring you some type of stability. I feel like they're gifting you with something. Now you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is that single, abundant um, life. This is someone who's single. This is someone who's prosperous. Sometimes I see this as a vacation card. Look at her. She's chilling. She's got her bottle of wine. She's reading a good, reading a good book. She's got pentacles growing all in her garden. Like she's, she's bopping. Her tree is abundant, right? So I, I definitely feel like, yeah, I feel like some of you guys might be doing a lot of writing and reading, or you guys might write a book that might bring you a lot of prosperity or um, write a self-help book or some, some type of book that um, gives people knowledge or enlightenment about something where you could be learning something when it comes to enlightenment and knowledge, something about ancestors or family life or um, something creative. You guys could be writing a book or a story about your family or something inspired by, by your family or ancestors, okay? Um, but there's something with writing and reading. So that's the arts, creativity. Um, so some of you guys could be invested in the arts, but somehow you're going to connect it to your family life. So I feel like you guys have a lot of, you guys have prosperity coming in as well as Pal One because Pal One had prosperity, but you guys are more like, you guys are the knowledge seekers. You guys are the people who are going to receive knowledge and wisdom. So like divinely guided information and you guys are going to use that and you're going to put that in your art and your work and it's going to grow. You have vine here. So this is information. This is like trees here. So I'm hearing, I heard it through the grapevine. Wow. I don't know what that, I don't know if that has to do with something, but um, that's the side note. But I feel like there's a lot of like, home life. The song that I'm getting for you guys is Jill Scott, um, family reunion, family reunion, Jill Scott. I don't know why I'm getting that, but family reunion, this could be literally different people in your family, paying attention, being inspired by the different characters and the people in your family and writing something, or just being inspired by the, by the people in your life. Um, I feel like there's a need for you guys to just enjoy the present moment of October. Being, being in the present moment and just enjoying October because October is going to bring a lot of creativity, a lot of um, insight. I'm hearing a lot of illumination, a lot of wisdom, forgiving anything that ha may have happened in your family, forgiving people in your family, forgiving friends, forgiving yourself, um, being in that peace energy, peaceful energy and creating, being inspired. So you guys have a lot of beautiful energy coming in with creativity, prosperity, having that time to write, to create, to read a good book. Just to enjoy yourself. I'm here enjoying yourself and learning new knowledge. Uh, spending time with, you know, pets or children. Some of you guys could be bringing in children um, into this world at some point. If you're single, I feel like it won't be for long. Okay? I really do feel that for some of you guys who pick this pal. You guys might meet someone or spend time with someone in October. Um, or just, I feel like some of you guys might just be recognized. Um, like someone might offer you, you know, offer you a gift or some sort of offer to take you out on a date. Um, in, in October, that's for some of you guys. Um, I am getting a trip though. I'm getting like some type of traveling. Some of you guys are traveling to see your family or to see like some type of community that you are close to maybe seeing some friends, but I definitely feel like you guys are going to have some very powerful things coming. Some of you guys might be offered to travel for work and you guys might be happy about that. It's going to bring a lot of prosperity, whatever this is that you're going to do creatively, um, it's going to bring you prosperity, okay? And it's going to take you to go within and to learn a lot of knowledge and wisdom. It might take a lot of learning, but it's going to be worth it, okay, you guys? So stay in this energy of peace and serenity and know that a lot of positive things are coming your way, all right? Stand up for yourself, though. I am hearing stand up for yourself. Have self-respect. Don't settle. Okay, remember that. Don't settle. Know your worth. Know that you deserve to have the Ten of Pentacles. You deserve the Ace of Pentacles. And don't settle for don't settle for anything less than what you deserve, okay? And that's just the energy that I'm having for you guys. Yeah, but I, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to just be spending time cozy. Um, you guys could literally be going on a retreat. I don't know why I'm hearing for some of you guys could be going to a cabin or like some type of getaway. Some of you guys could be traveling with family and friends too. Um, yeah, like spending time, but I feel like even if you guys sp spend time traveling with family and friends, some of you guys could sp still be spending some time alone, okay? But we have growth. Seek out a mentor or a guide. So there could be a family member that you're needing to connect with to give you more information or insight on something, okay? Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. This is a baby unicorn. We have a child here in family. So there could be someone in your family or someone like an elder or a relative or a mentor that you can trust that's going to give you a lot of information very soon, okay? That's going to help you. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing retreat, retreat, retreat. So some of you guys could be literally retreating or going on a retreat. That could be very helpful for you guys. 
I'm getting this. Some of you guys are just going to be getting inspired all over again. Like, okay, I'm getting inspired by life again. You know, especially with the times that we've been going through. But you guys are going to have a very positive October with several things happening for you guys. Okay, several. So let's get into pal three. What does pal three have? We have zombie control. Okay. All right. We have cleansing bath. Oh, wow. I said cleansing bath. So maybe you guys need to do a spiritual bath. Okay. Um, we have cleansing body and spirit. A water element here. Okay. We have nutmeg luck. Okay. Okay. I'm loving that. We have shark. Swim away from this situation. Okay. I'm hearing that some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's controlling. Okay. Someone who could be coming back from the past because when I think of zombie. I don't know why, but I'm getting the image from Hocus Pocus. You know that scene in Hocus Pocus where um, she brings back, oh my God, what's his name? I love him. Where um, one of the witches brings back her ex-husband that she had sewed his mouth shut and, you know, buried him. Um, but he ended up being really good. Uh, but it, but I'm not, well, maybe this person's good or not. I don't know if this person that's coming back into your life is worthy or not, but only you will know that. I'm getting that someone is coming back from your past, okay? And they're saying, hey, swim away from this situation. So someone could be coming back from the past that you might need to let go of, or there might be a situation that you're kind of digging up from the past that you're c consistently thinking of, and your angels are like, hey, let it go. Let it go. Don't, don't. Um, I'm getting predator vibes from the shark, though, and the zombie. So you guys want to protect your energy, cleanse your energy. Um, we do have cleansing body and spirit. So yeah, a, a cleansing, like a spiritual bath would be very helpful for you guys, protecting your energy spiritually. Because, I don't know, I just feel like, you guys want to cleanse your energy and protect your energy because I don't like this, like this, I don't know. I just get a, like a predator zombie shark vibe of someone watching you or someone wanting to come back into your life that maybe doesn't have the purest intentions for you guys. So I feel like you guys might be cutting away negative people. You guys might be cutting away some negative energies and deciding to just cleanse your energy from the past. And that might, I know some people are like, how is that a blessing? Trust me. That is a blessing. I know people who will keep negative people in their life for years and they wonder why life isn't, why their life isn't happy. Well, it's like, well, you have an issue with letting people go. So I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to let go of some type of situation or person that keeps being resurrected. Okay. That's not bringing you any happiness or peace. You have the high priestess or the high priest responsibility. Now, some of you guys have to point out because we do have this water element here on um, this water symbol, cleansing body and spirit and being in the bathtub water. I feel like some of you guys could be Pisces, have that Pisces energy here. And um, we do have the moon here. So yeah, I would say like Pisces cancer energy here. Wow, I had to be in, okay, I'm gonna be real with you and I just saw the health card. That's wild that I was gonna say that. Now this is a, a very touchy subject for me because my, um, wow, my mother passed away from um, cancer, but I definitely feel like um, I'm hearing someone is cancerous. Now, I'm not saying that someone has cancer. This is about what blessings are coming to your life. I'm feeling that there is someone in your life that's toxic, that is like a, that is like someone who just brings issues that you need to cut away. Someone who might be con controlling, um, manipulative, vindictive. I, I know this is about what blessings are coming your way, but I feel that you guys need to cleanse your energy of a certain person, whether this is a boss, whether this is an ex-partner, a family member, a friend, let this person go. Don't let this person come back again. Shut it out. Let it go. You guys have a lot of luck coming your way. You guys have a lot of positivity coming your way. But it's very important that you guys cleanse your energy of this toxic person, whoever this toxic energy is. This could be even your energy. Negative thoughts can become um, toxic. And they could, you know, create stress and, you know, and just sickness, really. So you guys want to take care of your health and your well-being. Don't let people... Be that toxic energy. Like I'm hearing like maggots, like people trying to latch onto your energy. I feel like it's because you're in this high priestess energy. You guys might have a lot of like moths coming along trying to, you know, make their way back into your life. And you're like, hold up. Mm -mm, not again. We have responsibility. So there's, a, you know, sometimes there's some, you know, how do I say this? You have responsibility is res being responsible duh but there's the energy of you having to I don't know why I'm here and take the weight know that with responsibility you're, you might have to cut out some people 
Okay, it's like you can't be a kid anymore where you're like, you know what, hey, they, they're still my friend. They're not the most positive and they're jealous of me, you know, and they might be always trying to outdo me. But, hey, they're still my friend. No, <laughs> they're not your friend. Or, or that, you know how there's that always that person that's like, oh, that's my boyfriend. He loves me, but he's just controlling me because he loves me. No, honey, no. Let that person go. Set healthy boundaries. You know, um, there's an energy of you setting healthy boundaries, cleansing away the old. This is old energy. You're moving more into a spiritual, like a stronger spiritual energy where you're going to have a lot of um, spiritual responsibilities and luck that you're going to have to protect. Okay. So what else do you have? You have health. Mother Earth, sweet Mother Earth, bright, bring to me your health and might. So you guys are healing from the past three. What's wild is all three decks have had the number three in it. And you guys have an eight to eight is prosperity. So, yeah, you guys want to take care of your health. Someone could be literally draining you. Someone could be trying to drain you just of your energy. This person is like a shark, an energy vampire. So you guys want to let go of any negative energy. You guys might come across a person like this if you haven't met them already. The blessing is you are healing and cleansing yourself from the past, Okay. What else? You have healer. <laughs> How ironic. Healer, you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your ability. Stay true to your path as a healer. So some of you guys, well, one, you guys are healing. We have health here twice. So healer, healer and health. So you guys are healing from the old, right? Coming out of this dark energy, healing from the old, setting healthy boundaries. I don't know why I'm getting this energy, but this card is making me think of, is this Snow White where the witch is trying to offer her an apple? And she's like, I don't know if I should take it. You know how your parents would say, hey, don't take um, candy from strangers. It's that energy of like, you know what? Let me set up some healthy boundaries and protect myself. Let me cut out anybody who's like, you know, just kind of shady. I'm hearing that you know. You know who this person is. Like deep down you know. And if you haven't met this person yet, just be aware of them. Just pay attention, observe, and, you know, don't let that person into your life. Move forward. I feel like you guys are that those beings that people are drawn to your aura. It's like you're, you have a healing energy. Some of you guys are actual healers. Some of you guys um, might be advancing, like leveling up with your healing abilities. So whether that's Reiki healing, um, something with healing. Okay, some of you guys could work in the medical um, field. And there's a need for you guys to cleanse your energy, okay, in general. Okay, let's see what else you have. You have jack o' lantern protection. Boom. Okay, yeah. You guys want to cleanse and cleanse your energy. Cleanse your energy from this person or this habit or this place whatever is draining your energy let it go cleanse it okay i'm sorry i'm moving these cards around but i'm just feeling guided to move them in a certain way just so we can get an idea of what's happening here but there's an energy that you guys need to protect and cleanse your energy let go of the past because you are got you guys are tapping more into your spiritual your spiritual gifts as a healer okay as a healer you guys are healing on your own but you guys are also tapping more into your gifts as a healer and you have a lot of luck coming your way. Luck, luck, nutmeg. So, yeah, you guys are being protected as well. But there's a need for you guys to protect your energy and cleanse your energy. So if you were, like, say you're, if you're a tarot reader or if you're a Reiki heal, um, um, energy healer or even if you're a nurse, you need to cleanse your energy after dealing with people because some people have negative energy that lingers onto them. You have to know how to cleanse and protect your energy. Spiritual baths are very, very important for you guys. Like some people will do sea salt and Epsom salt. Some people, you know, I would definitely say pray over your water, set those intentions to your water. Some people add herbs. Some people add essential oils. Some people add all types of stuff, um, powders. Um, there's just so many different types of cleansing and protective baths that you can, you know, incorporate in. Some people... Yeah, you guys might be working with herbs and learning how to protect yourself spiritually, like intentional oils, um, scrubs, you know, different stuff you can put in your bath to cleanse your energy, cleansing your aura field. I he I'm hearing that you guys need to work with water big time. Water and herbs are going to be very helpful for you guys in this pal. Water and herbs. So it just depends on what herb you feel called to work with. You do have nutmeg here, but I'm, nutmeg is, I think nutmeg is more of like a spice, but I don't know why nutmeg is here. I mean, it does say it's luck, but I don't know of anyone putting nutmeg in their water. <laughs> I don't know of anyone doing that. I'm just getting that you guys want to learn more about different herbs that you might want to incorporate in your baths. Okay, I am hearing lavender just for relaxation because I do feel like some of you guys need to relax. Um, 
but I'm just getting like you guys healing. So maybe rose oil. I'm healing from with the heart chakra. Okay. But I'm, I'm definitely getting learn about like spiritual baths, learning about cleansing your energy field, learn about different ways you can cleanse yourself and ground your energy. Okay, you guys, let's get into your teacup cards. You have teapot, deep friendship with someone or Oh, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Okay, so you guys could have a friendship coming along. Teapot. So see, relaxation. I said lavender. Maybe you guys need to drink lavender tea or herbal teas. I'm getting herbal teas, okay? Connecting more. Taking time for, like, self-care. You guys are a heavy self-care um, pal. So October is going to be a, um, a, a month where you guys are going to be letting go of negative energies, protecting your energy, cleansing your energy, and working on your health, healing mind, body, and soul, eating better, working out, getting more rest, you know, stretching, taking care of your spiritual health. You guys are going to be climbing towards success with the ladder spirit. Oh, ladder spirit. Wow, I didn't mean to say that. But ladder here. So this could be more spiritually, you guys, working more spiritually. Yeah, you guys could be... Co Making new friends or connecting with soul tribes. Connecting with soul tribes. Okay, we have torch. Spiritual, de look, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Yeah, so this goes to the high priestess. You guys are kind of being given some type of torch of, um, like, wisdom. High priestess knows what others don't know. And then we have the moon here. So it's like you know the secrets. You know what's in the dark. You know what's hidden. You guys are going to be getting some insight from different things that have happened in the past. I'm just getting like, okay, you know how like, oh, you guys are going to laugh. You know how that's a raven? She used to have downloads like randomly and she didn't feel comfortable sharing them. She might be like, okay, Chelsea, you know, or Eddie, I, look, this is going to happen. She might tell, but she usually doesn't tell. So I feel like this is like your energy where you're the healer. You're receiving so many um, messages. I'm getting medicine woman. Some of you guys could be medicine um, men or medicine women um, working with herbs and, and how to cleanse and heal naturally. OK, so that could be something you guys could be working with um, in October. Blessings with that. Like I'm hearing learning how to heal yourself and others with herbs and, you know, natural remedies. But some of you guys are going to be receiving different like downloads and wisdom. And I'm hearing that it's going to be like on hush hush. Like you guys aren't going to share it and maybe you aren't supposed to share it. Because you guys have luck coming your way. So this could be like them giving you some type of idea. And you know that you're not supposed to share it. Because this could potentially give you some type of success. It's like they're giving you the torch. Passing the torch to you. Some type of enlightenment. They're saying, hey, you're protected. Be aware. You know, this is the responsibility that you have in this lifetime. You have to know and have discernment to protect your energy from those energy vampires. So they're saying as you grow, you're going to attract more and more people. Okay. And not all of those people are going to be for your highest good, but we're going to give you some downloads and wisdom and you're going to have that. You're going to hold that. It's like, you're going to have that on your hands. Like, well, that's my responsibility. I have some visions and some dreams that have came through that I can't really tell anybody right now. Cause you know, this is per private. This is personal. This is something that could give me success. And you know, I have to be aware of who I'm sharing everything with teapot. When I think of tea parties, people talking and gossiping. So you want to be careful who all you're communicating with and sharing everything with. Now you have marriage. Some of you guys could literally be getting married or you might have a vision of who, whom you'll be um, in a marriage with. But a marriage could also mean a marriage within, you know, spiritual, like a spiritual marriage, you know, connecting more with the divine, bonding more with your spiritual team or a marriage between you and your, your practice, your healing practice or, you know, a marriage between mind, body and soul, making sure that you're being getting more in alignment. OK, but some of you guys could be coming out of a marriage um, and maybe that is a blessing for some of you guys like, whoa, I'm out of that. Um, for some of you guys, you guys could be meeting someone that you could potentially marry in the future um, after you let go of whatever negative energy that has happened in the past and cleanse from that, okay? So your tarot cards are the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about hard work. Look, she's pouring something in a pot. I feel like you guys are going to be working on herbs, like some type of healing, um, like remedies. Look, she has like a herbal, like a plant there on her little sign. So like, yeah, some of you guys could be herbalists, working with herbs, like or working in the kitchen, health. We have three of wands waiting for something to happen, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something to come through. Yes, yeah, spiritual. I'm hearing like you guys are waiting for some type of spiritual guidance. I feel like it's going to come through or some type of healing. Okay. Because he has a wand. I feel like he's manifesting something and she's making some. Some of you guys could be actually working on ma magic or creating some type of like elixirs, potions, teas, something like that. We have the queen of cups here and look, she's pregnant. 
So y'all could literally be working on creating something, side note. But Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be. This is very emotional. Um, queen, I see her as a seer. I see her as someone's clairvoyant. But the high priestess is a water energy. That's Pisces. I said Pisces, Pisces, Cancer earlier. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you guys could be working on just your spiritual gifts, like enlightenment. But not in the way of the other pals. This is more of... I'm just getting sight, vision, like visions, visions, visions. Like, okay, I'm having visions and I'm getting feelings. Literally, that's a raven. Eight of Cups. Wow, walking away to something better. Leaving something that's already okay, you know, but going to something better. So some of you guys are actually leaving. Swim away from this situation, literally. Some of you guys are leaving an old situation behind. Or working on leaving something behind. I feel like you guys are leaving something behind to go on to something healthier and better for yourself. And that is a blessing of October that you know your worth. I'm hearing that some of you guys are going to realize your worth. Some of you guys, maybe you've been in a partnership and this person has been saying, oh, you, don't worry, babe. We're going to, you know, we're going to give us some time. We're going to work on it. We're going to get married. And maybe this person hasn't married you. Maybe this person hasn't talked about a stable commitment. And you're like, you know what? I, that's what I've been wanting. And I've been in this relationship for a long time. This person will never give me a clear answer on what they want. You guys could be moving away from someone in that aspect. Or um, I just feel like this could be a job. This could be any habit. Like anything that's just not serving you, swim away from it. Eight of Cups, walking away to something better. This could be you guys um, releasing control and allowing the divine to help you, allowing the divine to guide you. Um, control, Three of Wands, waiting, right? Some of you guys could be impatient is what I'm hearing. You need to focus on healing and cleansing your energy. Know that you're divinely protected. Work on what you can work on right now. A lot of you guys, I just feel like healing herbs, 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 cleansing, protection. This is spiritual protection. You guys are spiritually um, protected, but this is a very powerful time for you guys to work on spiritual protection. Like work on creating your own herbs, your own scrubs, you know, your own remedies, um, bringing herbs into your foods, you know, taking care of your health, mind, body, and soul, meditation, prayer, um, you know, rest, eating healthy, working out, balance, you know. Um, protecting your energy field, but you guys are moving on to something better. You guys are going to be working on something, okay? Um, I feel like it's just working more on your spiritual, like your spirituality, meditating more. Like if you've fallen off with meditating, you guys might be getting back on track. I feel like there's a lot of spiritual, look, we have spiritual development, basically. Yeah, that's the queen of cups. So it's like, I feel like there's something happening here where you guys are going to be stepping more into your high priestess energy in October. Point blank period. You guys are simple. It's, it's a simple reading. I'm not saying that you guys are simple, like, you know, simple minded, but you guys have a simple reading. October is going to be a simple month of you just cleansing and protecting your energy, having discernment. And I feel like a lot of success you got, will be coming your way, whether this is more spiritually speaking, whether this is romantically or even with friendships, but just have discernment. There's, I feel like they will test you. I feel like your angel is going to test you to see, okay, have you learned or grown from past situations? Have you healed from it? Can we give you new opportunities? Can we give you new lessons? Can we bring in new, type, new people, different types of people into your life? Okay, so I feel like you guys are receiving more spiritual knowledge and ways to heal yourself, okay, and heal others. Stepping more into your power, doing things on your own is what I'm hearing. Taking power, taking authority of your spiritual life and of your mind, body, and soul in general and elevating. Okay? So that's what I have for pal three. Some of you guys could literally be creating, like like I said, fertility. Um, yeah, healing. Some of you guys could be trying to get pregnant and it's going to work. I'm hearing it's going to work. But you have to get rid of stress. Worries, fears, anything like that. Some of you guys, yeah, she looks pregnant too. So yeah, some of you guys could be getting pregnant. And maybe you need to let go of uh, like fears and stress and worries or, or bad foods. Especially if you're pregnant, you want to take care of your health. If you're trying to get pregnant, you want to take care of your health. Okay, loves. So that's what I have for you guys. For Pal 4, for October, you have... Earth magic, okay. Somebody else had something with earth. Hmm. Okay, earth magic. She looks like she's a magician. She's creating stuff. She has her sage. She has her black cat. Okay, we have cumin, faithfulness. Okay. Faithfulness, huh? We have witch, justice is coming. Okay, so faithfulness and justice. I'm here in faithfully, journey. This could have to do with love. Doesn't have to be. We have Homeland Foundation. Okay. So Foundation goes right along with Earth Magic. But on this Homeland um, card, it shows like traveling. Interesting. Okay. 27. 
Eight, nine, okay. Yeah, this is interesting, okay. Well, so we have 25 and 27, that's interesting. So good cheer, with kind heart and humor free. May good cheer rule and so might it be. Okay, so with kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule so might it be. Hmm. Interesting. They look like fairies. Kind of interesting there. Six, seven. Okay. I'm sorry. I was getting something here. This is weird. Okay, sorry. We have partnership. Okay. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Okay, so good cheer. It's weird because we have like, I don't know why they remind me of conjoint twins. That's kind of strange. I don't know if some of you guys are twins in this, <laughs> in this reading or I don't know. This is weird. You guys could be finding, I, I said this in someone else's reading, it's more soul family, coming across friends, um, trustworthy friends. Or there's a need to bring balance to your masculine and feminine energies here. Justice. Those justice scales. Some of you guys could be Libra. Or you guys could be at any earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We do have foundation. We have the earth magic here. Or some of you guys could be Gemini. Gemini or Libra. Or any earth sign. Okay? I am getting that energy. Or some of you guys could be working with someone that's of that energy. We have joy. Rejoicing in the present. Okay. So we got some positive. Okay. So justice is coming. You guys are going to be joyful. Okay. What else we have? We have skull of stars, infinite possibilities. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you guys have a lot of positive things coming. So you guys could be coming together in a partnership. Um, like maybe creating some type of business with someone, you know, or coming into a faithful union. We have faithfulness. We have partnership and good cheer. So this could be like a faithful union, a union that's balanced, okay? Whether this is, you know, romantically or with friends or a part, like a business partnership, something that's going to be very stable, um, going to have a stable foundation. Some of you guys could be meeting someone starting off as friends and then slowly moving into a romantic relationship. Or some of you guys could just be creating a solid partnership with someone, whether this is just a friendship or business contract. But it's going to bring you some type of joy. They're saying there's infinite possibilities to this. You have earth magic, infinite possibilities. So there's going to be some type of magic, something beautiful coming from this. Good cheer with kind heart and humor free. May good cheer rule, so might it be. So you guys are going to have a lot of beautiful things happening in October for you. Balance is coming. Joy is coming. Infinite possibilities. Magic. Foundation. I'm hearing that your foundation is going to be secure and solid. Um, if you're in a connection, there will be a lot of, you know, this person's faithful. I feel like this person is going to be faithful to you. Okay, um, a lot of positivity. I feel like you guys might be celebrating, spending time with friends, spending time with your partner. Um, I just feel like there's a happiness, like joy. I'm feeling joyful. Like, I don't know why I just feel like clapping. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting, um, today is Friday. I'm filming this on a Friday, but I'm hearing cheers to the freaking Reekin. Oh, Reekin, why did I say that? Cheers to the freaking weekend, I think, by Rihanna. I think that's the song. I'm kind of getting that. It's weird. I don't know why I'm also getting Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. So that's kind of interesting. But there's an energy of you guys celebrating and being happy. I don't know why I'm seeing people running through a home. Like grown adults, but like girls acting like teenagers running through a home and just playing around. So this doesn't have to be like just for women. But I'm just getting that energy of just being playful and happy. Like, you know what? Things are... Working out positively. I've got all this joy. I have all these beautiful things coming into my life. It's time to have fun. Okay? It's time to be cheerful. I don't know why I'm hearing Sia. Sia. But they're not giving me a song. They're just saying Sia. So there's a, like music. Something with music having fun. Like I'm hearing a beat music. Like techno music. Um, just like electronic music. Like something happy. Like just... Fun, 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 fun. Like, I would say festival, but, you know, with COVID and everything, I don't know if anybody's going to be doing any festivals anytime soon. But I'm just having, like, I'm seeing, like, a lot of fun here. Some of you guys might be traveling to a certain, like, place. But I feel like you guys are going to be having fun. You guys could be coming together to work with um, a group of people to create something. 
Wow. Okay. That's very powerful. I think you guys are, this is, this is another pile that has a simple message. You guys are going to have a lot of happiness and joy coming together. You guys are going to be working with people. Um, and there's going to be balance, balance within friendships and partnerships. There's going to be some magic happening. So I'm hearing that there's still mystery to your October, like something beautiful could happen, but they're not going to tell you right away. Um, this could be you guys meeting a partner. If you aren't already in a partnership with someone, whether this is business romantically or friendship coming across the right people. All right. We have staff you will be taking care of in difficult times. So, yeah. So, if you guys are going through a difficult time right now and justice is coming, you will be joyful. They're saying rejoice in the present moment. Be in the present moment. Be happy. Okay? Being faithful to the things you love in life is what I'm hearing as well. But know that you're going to be taken care of in difficult times. There's infinite possibilities. All right? You guys might receive help from someone. You have seahorse family affairs, okay? So yeah, you guys could have something to do with family since we do have foundation, we do have earth magic, connecting more with your family. Maybe I'm um, just spending time in happiness with your family, especially during the holidays, getting prepared for the holidays maybe. Look, we have happiness. Didn't I say that? We have joy and happiness. You guys are just going to be cheerful. I, I'm just getting a cheerful vibe. And, it, and it, maybe it's not for any reason. You guys just might be happy in October. And if so... Don't question it. Enjoy it. Just enjoy that, that magic. Enjoy it. Look, we have four-leaf clover. Great good fortune. So you guys are going to be lucky too. You're going to have good fortune coming your way. Cheer, joy, happiness. You guys have the most positive reading. And I just feel like there's a sense of I'm, I'm, happy. I'm just happy. So you guys could be creating your own happiness with the earth magic. I'm happy. I'm just happy. And I shouldn't have to question why I'm happy. Happiness is my birthright. You guys are going to be spending time with positive people. I'm hearing you guys say, you know what? If you aren't positive, you got to keep it moving. That's what I'm hearing. Like, if you, you're negative, Nancy, you got to go. Because we're all positive over here. We're wishing on stars. We're being cheerful and joyful. We have good fortune coming our way. We're manifesting the best. That's the energy you're in. You're coming out of hard times. You're being taken care of. So you have the Ace of Cups, love, emotion, right? Look, her cup is running over. My cup runneth over. Psalm 23, my cup runneth over. Yo, yo. I'm getting wish fulfillment. Some of you guys are going to have a wish fulfillment. <laughs> Look at this. The lovers, the lovers, partnership, union. Yeah, partnership, good cheer. You guys are coming into connection with someone. So maybe you guys have had your eye on someone. If not, um, infinite possibilities. You guys might be meeting someone. Um, that you might, like I say, you know, end up in a partnership with. Someone might come together and offer you something. Okay, you guys might come together with someone. Or if you already know of someone, there might be balance coming to that connection. It's going to bring a lot of powerful, I'm hearing like a lot of powerful, happy energy to you. You're going to feel free. This isn't someone who's going to make you feel trapped. This is someone who's going to make you feel free. I am getting like a Sagittarius energy here with the homeland and foundation, although I I'm not getting it with the foundation, but I'm just getting that map. Sagittarians like to travel a lot, and they're very sp spontaneous and playful. I'm getting that energy. So maybe you have a, a Sagittarius friend, or maybe you're a Sagittarius, so you might be coming across a Sagittarius, or a Gemini, or a um, we have a Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here with this King of Cups. Look at this, King of Cups. A lot of emotions, right? But not necessarily speaking on it. So I definitely feel like, you guys are going to have a lot of love coming soon. If you are this king of cups, it's okay for you to express your feelings and your emotions. If you're not, know that there's someone who has feelings and emotions for you, but they haven't quite expressed it completely to you. But they're going to offer their cup to you. You have the fool here with the Aries. Feeling free. This is sometimes like that new beginning, that childlike energy, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Look, it's doing the same thing as a joy card. Look at that. Look at that. It's like I'm releasing. I surrender. I'm letting go of anything that deserves. I'm just living my happiness. I'm living. I'm living in my authenticity. That's what I'm here. I'm living in my authenticity. I'm taking that leap of faith. So someone's gonna take the leap of faith to move towards you. Um, that's why I heard journey faithfully. Wow, literally faithfully. Um, this person might travel, um, or you might travel, or you guys might want to travel together. But there's balance coming to this connection. It's gonna bring you a lot of happiness. Um, whether this is romantically, whether this is in a, a, a friendship or a partnership, I feel like someone is coming your way. Okay. I'm also for someone I'm hearing Capricorn Taurus Virgo still. I feel like there could be a king of pentacles as well. I'm hearing king of pentacles as well. Okay. Um, 
I just feel like there, you guys are going to have love coming your way. Point blank period. You guys are going to have love coming your way. You're going to end up working with someone, creating something with someone, building with someone. Okay? And that's just the energy we have here. It's going to bring you a lot of joy in October, a lot of happiness in October, a lot of freedom. You guys might be going on new adventures with each other, trying new things with each other, um, having fun, maybe even travel. I'm just getting a lot of happiness within this connection. This person may have been watching you. Um, you didn't know it. Okay, they may have had their eye on you already. That's a side note for someone. But this is what I have for you guys in October. You guys have a lot of positivity. If you're already in a connection, that connection is going to be growing. Maybe you guys are going to be going on a trip or just having more fun, getting out and doing more if you're already in a connection. Um, if love isn't your thing right now, this might just be you getting in tune with your emotions, getting more in touch with your emotions. The divine expressing its love to you and you feeling it and just being in this state of happiness and joy. Family matters coming together. Maybe some of you guys might decide that you want a family. You might be discussing family life with a partner, okay, or connecting with your family, just spending time more with community, okay. Um, but not, I'm not getting like a big group of people. Like this could be one, two, or three people. Like you're, you're, it's a close, small circle, but you're going to be happy. Like you're going to be doing some fun things. Um, this loving, this lover's connection, if it hasn't came into your life already, even if it has, it has infinite possibilities. There's a lot of happiness and a lot of great fortune, good fortune coming your way. Okay. A lot of faithfulness. So look at this song by Journey Faithfulness. That is what I have for you guys. If you liked it, feel free to share, like, um, comment and subscribe. I feel like there's a need to manifest what you guys want to. That's the side note. Okay. Um, manifest what you want, but yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You guys have a lot of positivity coming your way. Just fun. This is fun. Like, okay, we're going to go out. Let's just randomly do something fun. That's the energy. But yeah, if you guys like this reading, please share, comment, um, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know how you like it, what you would like to see next. And just thank you, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you.